हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लिनिकल बाय केमिस्ट्री बाय डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट जिंक फिंगर मोटिफ सो व्हाट इज दिस मोटिफ मोटिफ इज ए थ्री डायमेंशनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्रोटीन्स वी नो दैट प्रोटीन इज हैविंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी टर्सरी क्वार्टनरी सो वेन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेकेंडरी स्ट्रक्चर ज्वाइन टूगेदर इट गिव्स यू थ्री डायमेंशनल स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज कॉल्ड टर्सरी स्ट्रक्चर एंड दैट देयर वी आर हैविंग मोटिव सो इट कंटेंट्स डोम लूप्स ऑल्सो इट कंटेंट्स हेलिक्स ऑल्सो इट कंटेंट्स बीटा प्लीटेड सीट ऑल्सो एंड वाई इट इज कॉल्ड जिंक बिकॉज इट इनिशियली वेन इट वॉज डिस्कवर दैट टाइम इट वॉज थॉट दैट इट इज हैविंग जिंक एटम जिंक एलिमेंट सो दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज जिंक फिंगर मोटिव एंड इट्स स्ट्रक्चर लुक्स लाइक फिंगर Later on, we will see their structure also, how it looks like. So first, we will see some of the uh, important motifs. What is the role of this motif? Normally, these motif proteins are DNA binding proteins. So these binds with DNA and uh, assist helps in the gene regulation, the expression of the genes. So uh, it either binds with the DNA or it also binds with the mRNA. So this is uh, motif. Literally means it is a kind of dominant element protein tertiary structure. so certain motifs in protein is mediated by the binding with the different kind of factors different proteins normally because these are going to play a role significant role in the transcription processes so it is going to bind with the transcription factors so these proteins binds with the transcription factor so motifs along with transcription factors binds with the dna or rna and they regulate their uh, expressions so the specific control of the transcription occurs by the binding of the regulatory proteins with high affinity to the specific region of the dna and particular gene will be expressed or it will be managed so if you will see these interactions there are four different unique motifs uh, we have come across so they are helix turn helix zinc finger leucin zipper and the helix loop helix today we are going to talk about zinc finger domain or zinc finger motif these amino acids uh, motif binds with a high affinity to the certain specific site and other places of the dna it is binds with the low affinity so where it binds with the high affinity there uh, been that is the specific site for this particular proteins the motif dna interactions are maintained by non covalent interactions non covalent bonds that is hydrogen bond and van der waal forces so now come to the zinc finger motif what is this zinc finger motif initially it was recognized that the transcription factor 3a requires zinc uh, for its activity but later on it came across that it is not only zinc it can also binds with the iron sometime you can see there are no metal ions also so without any metal ions also so zinc is not a compulsion because initially it was discovered with zinc so that's why its name contains zinc so on analysis it was revealed that the transcription factor 3a contains zinc iron as a repeating coordinated complex this complex is formed by the closely spaced amino acid so four amino acids will be there either all four will be cysteine or it will be two cysteine and two histidine so it will be cysteine and cysteine followed by histidine and histidine or sometimes histidine will be replaced by cysteine and cysteine so total four amino acids will be there either all four cysteine or two cysteine and two histidine this uh, amino acid zinc associated with the transcription factor and the protein domain binds with the major groups of dna and lies on the face of the dna so this binding makes contact of with the five different bases means the span of the dna where this motif binds that is the five base pair of the dna some of the specific uh, like steroid hormone receptor transcription factor uses this zinc finger motif for binding to the dna so we are having a structural proteins because this structural proteins this pro motif uh, associated with the zinc ion uh, with the specific uh, amino acid of the proteins and their structure looks like finger like projections so this contains uh, beta pleated sheet also anti uh, that is anti parallel and it will having alpha helix so both alpha helix and beta pleated sheet will be there so this is a three dimensional structure and both are will be connected with a loop like a structure so this uh, protein have contains a zinc or iron or sometime without any elements also and the portion the loop which is associated with the dna 
that is normally looks like finger so that's why it is called a zinc finger domain so there we are having uh, two cysteine either uh, like this is cysteine this is cysteine so two cysteine and two uh, histidine will be there or sometime we can have cysteine and cysteine will be replaced by histidine histidine will be replaced by cysteine and cysteine so overall we will have two cysteine and two histidine or cysteine two and cysteine two means all four cysteine or two cysteine and two histidine so they, this is a protein this is the zinc finger protein or dna binding protein which contains one protein which is having the anti parallel beta sheets a loop joins this one with the alpha helix a metal ion zinc or iron or without metal ions and means that is the four uh, a specific amino acid with whom it binds so this is going to help uh, means assist means in the rna binding or protein protein interaction uh, in case of so it helps in the gene expression so this is the dna uh, in dna you can see whenever you will see the three dimensional structure of dna there you can see major groups and minor groups so normally this protein this zinc finger domain uh, this finger like projection binds with the major groups of dna and regulates the transcription process so ultimately it is going to the transcription regulator so it helps in the gene expression regulations uh, so similarly we are having different other uh, dna binding motifs also like we have seen zinc finger motifs so later on we will see helix turn helix that is another motif which uh, help binds with the dna and regulate the transcription similarly we are having leucine zipper that also helps in the regulations and we are having helix loop helix so uh, these are the different uh, dna binding motifs which are going to role have plays very significant role in gene regulation expression regulations so this is all about the zinc finger motif uh, if you like the video you can uh, press the like button if you're not subscribed my channel you can subscribe it uh, thank you very much have a nice day